The second I decide what I want to do, the fucking sun comes out, man. The second I know what I want to talk about, the fucking sun comes out. <clears throat> fucking up my lighting, my white balance, everything. Fuck you, Mr. Sun. Fuck you. Don't appreciate it. Hello, everybody. So today, a little quick video to hold you guys over, get your daily dose of satire. Shut down, computer. Shut down. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of a throwback sort of thing. When I first started YouTube, I told these little stories. For anybody who's been watching since the start, you know what I'm talking about. So I thought maybe today I'd do a little return to something like that. And I have just the story in mind. A couple of semesters ago, my second semester of university, was that a year ago? Was that a year ago? I think it was a year ago. Let's go with it was a year ago. I took this class called the graphic novel, and basically we talk about graphic novels. And for anybody who hasn't gathered yet, I'm a pretty big comic book fan. Pretty big. I like my comic books. Batman, Spider-Man, the X-Men, Fantastic Four, the Hulk, you name it. I pretty much love all that superhero shite. But since this is an avant-garde, high-class university course, we are going to teach such meddling superhero tripe. We will be looking at the anti-comic books, things that challenge the medium and express new ideas in your deep psychosis. Yeah, it's not my cup of tea, but you know, whatever, I'll, I'll give it a try. We read stuff like Watchmen, which I'd already read like five times prior. Persepolis, Mouse, pretty good stuff, Fun Home, Jimmy Corrigan, the worst thing to have ever existed ever. But to get to the point, there was this one class where this guy completely lost his shit in a comic book class. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So as for any university or college or I guess high school classes, the teacher has the lecture and you know, teaches you. And this teacher, she would basically go really in-depth about comic book history and the writers and the artists and the movements and the taboos and the what will have you of anything and everything to do with comic books. And she encouraged discussion, you know, raising your hand, asking questions and all that good stuff. But there's always that one guy, you know, one guy or girl who just asks too many questions and keeps cutting them off and interrupting the class, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, if you were that kind of person, you asked a lot of questions and... You're watching this video and you're like, yeah, but I just wanted to learn, I just wanted to learn. That's all good and dandy, I want you to get your education, but shut the fuck up! So in my graphic novel class, what did this person in question look like? Well, I'll describe him to you. Suspect had red curly hair, pretty tall, tallish, freckles, wore big, ugly Betty glasses, overalls, carried a little keychain of Thor's hammer. His shirts were just way too tight, button up, little polka dot bow ties. Those last points, half of them weren't even true. So what did Mr. Frecklebutt do? Well, I'll tell you what Mr. Frecklebutt did. Basically, this guy's biggest crime is that he would keep interrupting the teacher consistently throughout all of her lectures. It would go a little something like this. Teacher. And that's why V for Vendetta is such a highly influential piece of work. Frecklebutt. <laughs> yeah, actually, V for Vendetta is such an appalling fucking graphic novel. I mean, I hate it. Did you know in the Vietnam War that so many things were... It was exactly like that. All the time. Prick. Just constantly having to cut her off and feeling like he had to show how much smarter he was than everybody else. Bringing up irrelevant points. That little thing I made about the Vietnam War, that was literally something he said once. It had nothing to do with anything. He just started reciting history about the Vietnam War. Hmm. Nothing to do with anything. Like, I'm, ha I'm happy that you paid attention in history class, but fuck, man, we're talking about fucking Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller, and you're bringing up the body counts. We don't want to talk about that anymore. We want to put that behind us. Okay? Just, just... We don't want to talk about it. Stop. But one lecture, I guess, that the teacher got sick of it, so she kind of cut him off, and he got really, really pissed. So what went down? Set the stage. Classroom. Teacher's talking, and it's about half an hour into the class, and this guy hadn't said a damn thing. We're kind of relieved, right? Like, thank God, he's, he's not saying anything. But, we had to jinx it. 
He opens his mouth and starts blabbing away about all these things that he knows that we don't. Yeah, well, did you know that fucking Superman cannot beat Batman because Batman is fucking... Don't... F hey, don't... F hey, man. Get fuck! Can you shut the fuck up? I know things, I know things, I know things. Just let a piano fall into the ceiling and just crush this guy. I guess the teacher got sick of it, I mean... I don't blame her. But the way she handled it was actually very mature. Kind of like an adult. She just simply put her materials and her notes down on the desk in front of her and said, please, would you be quiet? I'm trying to do my lecture. Despite how calmly and politely she said this, he still managed to flip the fuck out. Number one. You know, you never let me talk. You always cut me off. You never let me finish my set. What the fuck? Would you no, I won't be treated this way. No, not me. I'm so much better than you. Fuck off. I'm taking my stuff. Where's my bag? My bag? I don't believe it. I don't need you. I'm better than you. Fuck you. I know more than all of you. I'm an expert. <laughs> Once he had barged out of the room in a frickin' steaming fit, kinda left like this awkward silence behind them. Nobody knew how to react. So I figured I'd break the silence and I just started to clap. That's what came naturally. Before you knew it, the whole class was laughing and clapping in unison. Happy days. Happy days. So that's it for the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it, had a couple of good laughs. Have a very good day. And you, Mr. Sun, I see you're still around. I got some shit to take care of. See you guys.